I'm Dr. Ellen Mendelson. I'm Professor of Radiology and Chief of the Section of Breast and Women's Imaging, Department of Radiology at Northwestern and the Lynn Sage Comprehensive Breast Center. Healthy women uh, should have regular mammograms starting at age 40. There has been some controversy regarding the starting time for mammography, but data from randomized controlled trials suggest that starting at age 40, if you have no symptoms, of course, of breast cancer or any breast abnormalities, uh, should begin at 40 and continue on an annual basis. For women who have a very strong family history of breast cancer, including the breast cancer genetic abnormalities of BRCA1 and 2, as well as uh, having had radiation treatment to the mediastinum of four diseases like Hodgkin's, uh, the start up time should be earlier. If you have had a mother, a sister, or a daughter, these are first degree relatives uh, who may have had breast cancer, uh, especially at an early age, uh, say 35, one would start a breast cancer screening at around age 30. It would be five to 10 years before that relative or relatives who had the breast cancer at an early age, pre particularly premenopausally and in both breasts. Screening has to do with finding disease that's unexpected. Screening is the study that you would do if you have no symptoms at all of breast disease, no masses or lumps, uh, no nipple discharge of a spontaneous type, uh, no thickening in your breast, no sense that you may have an infection uh, or any other type of abnormality. Uh, in that case, you would ask for or you will be sent for a diagnostic breast imaging study, which will include mammography, but may also include ultrasound uh, and magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, uh, to solve the problems. Screening then is just a study that is done uh, as you would have your blood pressure taken. And digital mammography uh, is ma the same sort of mammography, but it's displayed differently. It's displayed on a monitor, and the acquisition of the images is digital. A large study that was done for nearly 50,000 people suggested that Digital mammography was better for women whose density uh, is high, who are young or premenopausal. Uh, and there, uh, the sharpness of the digital mammograms uh, and the contrast resolution between the types of tissue uh, that you find in the breast, fat and fibroglandular tissue, uh, was a little bit better uh, in displaying abnormalities. Density is one of the reasons that we suggest supplemental imaging. On a mammogram, a mass or lump uh, or abnormality that you may wish to pursue uh, will look white. And against the white background of the fibroglandular tissue, where breast tissue is extremely or partially dense, uh, is difficult to see. Ultrasound sees though both of those types of tissue, uh, as well as mammography, and MRI does too, but they look different on ultrasound. Ultrasound will show you the dense fibroglandular tissue as white or light gray, but a mass that you would want to pursue and possible abnormality would be dark. So against the, the white background, it is not difficult to see a dark area whose shape may be irregular and whose margins may not be smooth. Uh, and then you would be able to confirm presence of perhaps an abnormality that the patient uh, had come to you uh, to evaluate. 